Hey there, welcome to a new episode of Kyushu Corner. I'm Sensei Mish. This is part two of our multi-part series on the Vulcan neck pinch. Uh, if you cheated and are watching this now, and what I mean by cheated is you basically aren't watching episode one, that's okay. We're getting right into the technique so you can learn it, but I do encourage you at some point, go back, watch episode one, gives you a little bit of uh, background. And something else I'm doing today, because both of these episodes air, are airing today, this is a special day in Star Trek history. Can you tell me what it is? If you can, send me an email. Here's my, here's my Kyushu Corner email. Tell me what it is. I'll put your name in a hat. By next week, by next week's episode, we will have our winner. And then I will send you a prize. So um, there you go. Oh, yeah. And if you haven't subscribed, if you are new here and haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, and that doesn't mean just if you're new. If you like this episode, give us a thumbs up. Let's get to the episode. This video proves that it's a reality. Now, I, I'm going to be real with you. This is, this is truly for demo's sake. I mean, do it for demo. Don't do it for real. Like, in, try it in a real fight. Unless, of course, you've practiced it for hours and hours and hours on multiple people and you have that right, perfect timing to reach in and pinch. Because honestly, this is not combat applicable. It could be, it could be, but it's not yet. This is for demo's sake. So, for all of you haters out there who want to pull the video out of context, Make sure you pull this part out too. Because All right, so our first neck pinch that we're going to go over is the one I call Enemy Within. All right, so if we recreate the picture from uh, that scene in the episode, we have Spock, and we'll actually move Thomas a little bit closer. We have Spock coming up behind the evil Kirk, and he comes up, and you have this type of finger position, okay? If we look at the literal positioning of my fingers, they lay, they, they, they're right on the perfect pressure points for this application, okay? So if I come up, my thumb is on small intestine 15, so I'm gonna dig my thumb in, all right? I get a little, little dysfunction there. I have my index finger in small intestine 16, okay? I push in, he doesn't like that. And then I have either, um, uh, either my my ring finger or my middle finger down on small, large intestine 17, which is right about there. He doesn't like that, okay? So if I put all of this together, just like that, and I dig and I get in, now that's that's just me doing that. That's just a pinch. That's just a pinch and roll. I'm not doing anything special. I don't have intent. I don't, I'm not breathing. I'm not being in any special stance. That's just me pinching, okay? So if I come up and let's put a little focus into it, a little bit of intent, all right? So I just come up, I do this. All right, are you feeling okay? All right, so I would say that that's probably a level two, all right? Let's try one more time. Because I, I like Thomas, and I've been beating on him for, I don't know, you guys have been watching it for years, but I got it, you know, you got to get out of your mind that it's like, I want to do the technique. We're putting on a video, and you're watching it. So let's do it, okay? So I just come over, I come here. Okay, you all right? Okay, all right. Okay, I would consider that a level three dysfunction. Goes to the ground, puts his knee on the ground. Okay, you all feeling all right? Okay, let's fix your collar. All right, so that is just one version of that, okay? So 
Let's give him a break and we'll come back for version two. All right, so the second version that we've seen is not like, you know, the first version included the finger up into small intestine up here. The second version is just me coming like this. We see a lot of it, just the hand over here. So we're gonna look at points a little bit differently. I'm still gonna have my thumb on small intestine 15, okay? My middle finger, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into small, in, or small in, or, or stomach 12. Stomach 12 is a little bit tricky. Sometimes I can get it on some people, sometimes I can't. On Thomas, just because of he's a little bit stockier, I can, I, I have a little bit more success with the 12, but like on my son Ashton, he's, uh, he's a little bit thinner. So if I try and do 12 on him, it's actually, I have to actually push my, my, uh, my middle finger up against the collarbone. Whereas him, I can just press down. So it's really, it kind of really depends on um, the, you know, how the person is built. And then of course my index finger is gonna be on large intestine 17. So if I come over, I've got small intestine 15. I've got, um, and actually we'll just kind of uh, do here. So small intestine 15, I've got, uh, let's see, where's stomach? Uh, stomach is there. And then large intestine 17 is here. And it's this pinch and roll. So I pinch and roll, okay? You okay? Headache? All right, gets a headache from that, all right? All right, so that is another, another option, okay? Playing with this, you're not always gonna get that person to the ground, okay? But even getting just a minor dysfunction, that's great. And I, that wasn't even me breathing, okay? Let's try that one more time, all right? So, I come up and I roll in. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So we're going to do a little bit of healing on him. That is enemy within. We'll get on to our next point. So what'd you think of the enemy within? Pretty cool, huh? So there is more where this is coming from. Um, I got more episodes over the next couple weeks. There's a total of four techniques. Um, this is, it's, it's pretty cool. Now, if, uh, I, I'd love to hear what you think. So put a comment in the comments below. Um, even if they're negative, but still be nice. I mean, don't say it's fake if you haven't tried it. And that's why I always say, take it back to your dojo. Play, have fun. Always be good to your uki. Now, I'm not gonna say I'll see you on the next video yet because I am trying to promote the book. Yes, there is a book. Yes, it does say sample across here because that's all I have. It is not, well, as of today, it is published. It might take about a day or so for the link to show up. I'll make sure that that is on there as soon as possible so you can get it. But it's got everything. It's got everything in the series of episodes and more. And before I forget, you can get a copy directly from me. Yes, totally get it from Amazon. That does help, that does support me. But if you wanna get it autographed, you can get it through me directly. So send me an email, there's an email. I'll even put a link in the description below so you can do that. And remember, take this back to your dojo, play, have fun, and always be good to your uki. I'll see you on the next episode. Hey there, I really hope you like that up this episode. For more content from me, Sensei Mish, hit the subscribe button below. If you're not watching this on YouTube, that's okay too. Like, subscribe, share, do all those really cool social media things that uh, everyone asks you to do. And until the next video, train hard, be safe.